Hola. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Today's the day where I'm working on... Oh, spoiler alert, alerts and stuff. So, today I'm working on <clears throat> an enemy that is actually... Where is this old screenshot? He's an enemy that's actually... Uh, your friend. So I just used Rock's artwork for now and just made it all black just to test out fighting him and turns out to be a pretty fun boss fight with him. Ha as long as he has a few little advantages to make his sword fighting um, kind of interesting. Like, for example, he has this one flag where he can, he isn't stunned as long, so he can fight back a lot faster. You can't just corner him too easy, stuff like that. So um, I'm working on actually giving him his own skin now. So I'm going to redo all the art here. I'm going to take what frame, what files I need from Rock's art and then put it into Kel's art here and just start pixel arting him out. So that's today's mission is basically get all the files straight so that he has his own skin because Rock has like 200 source files or something crazy. I just need to uh, isolate which ones are needed by this guy only. There won't be there. There definitely won't be 200, but maybe there might be 20 or so. So that's the today's goal. So um, what's the first thing I need to do? I guess I need to open up. I start opening up. Well, actually, I could glean down. Hmm. If I went into oh, why didn't this one? Hold on. I need to get this to not be full screen. Here we go. It needs to be stream friendly. Here we go. All right. So taking all the files and close that. And this. I guess I can close all these scene jib deads. I can work on those later. Still gotta work on this friend energy. Okay, so Kel's file. Like this is the theory. Basically just take all the all the animations that he doesn't need and delete them and see if he still works. Like he never has hatless, so he's never gonna need to do those.
Oh man, there's so many we don't need. Gosh, let's just start getting rid of these in bulk. So push, let's delete all of push. Herd is needed. Sheath is never needed. Unsheath is eat. He doesn't ever eat. Um, float, floating, That's I kind of actually might do that. Doesn't have a courage up in anim animation, no shield. Doesn't need to celebrate. Melees need both those. Running turn, probably not. Don't need these shirt animations. He never runs as well as sheathed. He never runs normal even. Okay, does he ever catch? No, it doesn't ever catch or throw. He does have a die, but he doesn't have a die sheath. No, he doesn't have a shirt. Okay, start getting, getting rid of more of these animations. He's only going to ever be hurt with his sword out. Okay, so all of these are not going to need any of these animations. All right, the rest of them. Cool, get rid of all that. Okay, now we've got it down to a couple animations that, we'll, that, that this is all he really needs. Just make sure it still works. So, does everything, does he still, does everything still work with him? Oops. No, he didn't do idle. He's not idling with his sword anymore.
hits any of his idols with the sword. It's just not worth it. Okay, so I'm going to save it with the debug mode on so I can keep seeing that because I there's this little um, thing that it can print out underneath the character that shows what animation they're trying to run. And let's make it so it does that for all. All, all the characters. Is Hero, how about if it's just a friend? Actually, friends overflows. E dot collision dot original category. If it has bits, filter friend. What? Okay, whoa. Idol, sword, hatless? Oh, he's being hatless. How in the heck did he get hatless? Mm. Pretty sure that's here in render system or render component. Atlas. Oh, there it is. Attack system find filter top hat. Oh, his profile is still rock. Or is it? Wait a minute. There's rock, there's jib. Yeah, his profile should be named Kel, not Rock. Huh, well, curious because it's not, it's giving um, hatless for Kel, even though Kel has a different profile. I have no idea what else could be giving it hatless. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Skin Sword Atlas. Damn it. It's right isn't in his AI. That makes sense. Okay, give you the skin sword, dude. Not sword hatless. Oh, hatless was kind of cool. Damn it. Oh, I wanted them all to be hatless. Whatever. Okay, we close this. Now, Kel, all this stuff needs to be without the hat. But it doesn't matter, I can just copy those later. We're gonna redo all this art anyways. So, let's see if this actually looks and feels right now without his skin and hatless. Is it running? Come on, what you doing? What you doing? Oh. There. There, cool. He looks right now. Okay, so he's in stance one there. That's uh, stance two. Okay, yeah, so he, I can get away without having, having two stances. It's like a lot of work for an enemy to have two stances. Traps. So he can be trapped still. Okay, I thought I had fixed that last night. Ah, I still got that bug where you can't pick up stuff. Okay, anyways. That's a good thing to check in right there. A lot of streamlined this file a lot. Actually, you could probably get rid of some sounds too. There we go, streamlining his file bit. I could probably get rid of a few more things out of this, uh, these animations, which would be pretty handy before I go and try and basically copy every single one of these files for rock. You know. All right, so that can be checked in as it is, as long as the sound is okay. So who does he make this sound? Grim Gary, what's up, man? How you been? Let's see if he made that sound. I want to hear if he makes an unsheathed sound when he takes his sword out. No, he didn't make a sound. Huh. I want that to be... You fell to the sickness? Oh! You're doing better, though? Things are really good, man. Yeah. 
I've been kind of secretive lately. I haven't been streaming as much and stuff or sharing many GIFs on Twitter because I'm working on the ending and I don't want to spoil it for people. But um, yeah, I'm almost finished with the alternate endings. So Songbringer has two different endings depending on you doing this one thing in the game. I won't ruin it for you. But yeah, so those two endings are now kind of like both at rough draft stage. So that's really nice to have that almost. It's like a big relief. I'm like, oh, yes, finally. The ending is is done for Songbringer, almost. So that is like just such a relief, you know, to have that have that part done and done um, done well enough that I would, if I had to release Songbringer like tomorrow, basically I'd be, you know, I'd be pretty happy with the game as it is. And so, and then there's still more time to make it even better and fix lots of bugs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so close. Yep, this summer. It's coming up fast. It'll be this summer before you know it. So I want him to make this unsheathed sound, but I can check in this already. Get rid of, get rid of all that stuff. Okay, so I want him to make that unsheath sound. How does he do his unsheath? Oh, he's probably using the attack button. The attack button is automatically doing unsheath. Is that right? Where, where is it calling the unsheath from? So is it there? This looks like the only place it ever does it. It must be here. All right, Kel, why aren't you, why is your sound not working, hmm? Huh? Oh no, he didn't do it. Oh, maybe he has, maybe I built this into his AI. Forgot about this stuff. Skin animate unsheath. There it is. Oh gosh, just gotta do sound unsheath as well. That was the easy one. Close Xcode. No need to debug. All right. So now I should be able to move on to the more important part of getting all the files sorted all the art files for this guy and then I can start once they're all sorted and I can start pixel arting him yeah cool he did the, so the sound that time okay so it's probably best to get rid of some more files that I don't need for example I don't need unsheath east south or north just south I need two hertz. Start floating, stop floating. Uh, I might use this later. Let's make these comments for now. Well, let's move the more important stuff up here. Oops. All right, so he's melees. 
question is, do I keep both stances, both melees, both stances? Well, actually, it's best to get, if I were to get rid of one thing, I would get rid of the second idle and the second run. Those are the least fruitful. Run to, run to north, run to south. Yeah, those can be deleted. But the melee twos are pretty important. You get it. You need at least like two different attacks to make a sword fighting enemy look like more natural. All right, and we don't need the idle twos either. All right, so now we have idle, idle north, idle south, idle sword, idle north sword. We don't need idle. Or idle north, we just need idle, and we just need idle sword, idle north sword, idle south sword. Yeah, we need those. We need the release. We need all three runs, all six melee attacks, the unsheath, and the two hertz. Let's put the release at the bottom here. There. That should be a little more organized. Let's make sure his animations still work. That should be the minimum bare bones, um, basically animations that he'll need to look like a cool sword fighting enemy. I'm trying to pay attention to see if he does both types of, there's that one. Yeah, okay, he does do both. Nice. Okay, cool. Now we gotta boil down. Wait, let's make sure the die. There is release animation does work too. That looked fine. Still gotta fix that. So many little bugs. Okay, I can save this. Without those animations all visible now, I can make sure X code's closed. Good, good, and I can check in, kill again. Those animations are not needed either. And I can start copying files and making these custom for Kel, so he'll look start looking different. He'll have a, his own. Visage, Rock Idol South, Hat, Sheath. Actually, I could make all these hatless. And if I did make all these hat lists, let's just make sure that all those are found. I didn't mess up the file names there. Oh, good. Loaded fine. Good. He doesn't have a hat anymore. Nice. Make sure he still dies. Cool.
Good. All right, let's get these files open, copied over and stuff. Okay, so we're in the shadow folder, which is all the sprites that have shadows. And I want to start copying rocks animations to Kel. The first thing I want to start with is the idle south sheath. It should just be idle south of PSD. Copy that to Kel idle south. All right. Now idle sword east. Sword East. Whoa, 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 what the, what? Whoa. Idle Sword North. South. Now running sword east. Running sword north and south. Now, sword, sword zero east, north, south, sword one east, north, south. Okay, now unsheath now hurt. And the last one is release. So rock die sword east. Okay, now we should have those all. We should be able to see what's new. Untracked files. Okay, so we got die sword east, hurt east and north. Idle south, idle sword east, north south, running east, north south, 
sword, all six, and unsheath. That looks good. Now I need to make sure it gets those all exported correctly. Best to just clear out good. Oops, shazzle. Oh, I ruined it. Oh, sweet, fixed it. Saved! Ruined, saved! Might as well open all these files, basically. Open, raw, sprites, shadow, kill. All right, now let's see if this the export script works. What the hell was that script shortcut that exported everything? Why is everything invisible? Dang, it opened them all up and they're all sized wrong. I'm going to close them all and just open it again. Actually, maybe I'll keep one of them open. Shoot, yeah, I'll just keep one of them open and see if this export works. This is called Kel Sword 1 South. Oh, I can just open up Rock's export script and see how it would actually work. That's probably a better thing to do. So Rock export. This file is what exports all the layers. What is the exported file name though? Oh, it saves the file anyways. It renames the file. This might actually work. So let's try that. Export? No. Scripts? Rock export. We should get a Kel Sword one. Yes, one S. Kel Sword one S hat. Kel Sword one S. One S hat. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the export script works. Sweet. All right, first thing I'll commit and then is these raw sprites. Oh, whoops, git add raw sprites. Okay, so we got these new files for Kel. Not too many, there's only 17. Only 17 files to do. And as long as I simplify his animations and make him a really like simple character, it shouldn't be too much work. I'm hoping. Okay, now Kel has a scale of 1.25 and a color that's really dark applied to him. I want to do, I want to take both those things and apply it only in this, the PSD files. So all these are going to be 1.25, the size.
which is 65 pixels. It looks crazy weird. It looks so bad. Oh my god. Ruined! Okay, and let's see what he looks like with a, a dark layer applied over everything. Okay, let's see if that works. Rock export. Oh, I know I have a shortcut for that somewhere. This is unsheathed. Uh, it worked. Sweet. Is it Command E? Oh no, that's a merge group. I think it's like F5 or F12 or something. Wait, is it part of my scripts here? No, oh, yeah, Command Alt Control E. Ah, there it is. Okay, so Command Alt Control E. Nice. Love Hammer Spoon. Good, good. We got that exported. Let's make sure that was correct. Sword. Yeah, all right. Oops, wait, I might forgot to increase his size. This needs to be 65. What's up, Diamond Killer? How you doing today, man?
what I'm working on today is this um, is the animations for a sword fighting friend of yours. His name is Kel, and he gets mind controlled by the enemies. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Forever. Almost. Okay, sword one north. Let's make sure that exported. Yeah, all right. Oh, the weekend's been very nice. It's been really warm here in California. It got super hot this weekend. It's been really rainy for a long, long time. Just a couple months of just straight rain. It was really wonderful. Filled up our mountains, filled up our lakes, filled up our rivers and everything, and our reservoirs. So it's nice to have the heat now and have enough water, which is really good for the whole, for everybody. How about yourself, man? How's your weekend going? Looks good. You getting some sunshine, yeah? Really? Crazy. That's good to hear. Some sunshine. Man, I love the sun. I'm a I'm a sun worshiper. I just I don't know, I guess I got some like Mediterranean blood in me or something. This makes me want to be out in the sun every day. What's up, F Sue? The game's really well, man. It's um getting closer and closer to release. Release is gonna be this summer. It's coming out on Xbox, it's coming out on PlayStation, and it's coming out on Steam. Um it's just at PAX and GDC with booths. That was a really crazy cool experience. Whoops. Command E. All right, so we got sword zero south now. Mocked up. Now we gotta do, we got a few more to do here. Lots more actually. Nice. Played some games, working on assignments. Oh, it's tense, huh? Oh, you got exams, formal week. Oh, wow. Well, I wish you all the, all the best of luck with everything as it's coming up.
Do I use SFM at all? Do you mean SFML? What you mean? <clears throat> well, you can't do that, but you can start your own one man studio. Whoops. Command E. There we go. So if you're just joining the stream, you're wondering, like, what am I doing right now? I'm working on, this is a spoiler alert stream. I'm working on an enemy that is a sword fighting enemy, but he's actually your friend. And he gets mind controlled by these enemies. And so I've mocked it all up with the hero's art. And now I'm taking the hero's art and basically making it a little bit bigger and darker. And using that as just a template for starting a new pixel art. So my goal is to go through all these files, get them all prepped and resized and stuff. And then I'll start repixeling. So I'll do some pixel custom pixel art for this guy to make him look different. <clears throat> Next year's your sandwich year. What? That would be so sweet. Yes, do it, man. Start your own game dev studio. It's such an exciting idea. A super secret hard boss? There already is one. Yeah, Fasul, there's so many cool things in Song Rear. There's secret tunnels that connect the dungeons. There's secret tunnels that crisscross the overworld. There's super secret bosses. There's super secret places. There's super secret items. Um, there's a lot of rad stuff that you just start, it's just deep beneath the surface of Songbringer. Cool, man. Group video. Oh, dude, I'm crossing my fingers for you. I hope that that goes good, man. We got sword, body, all right, should be All right, we're about halfway through prepping these files. Running sword north, looks good. Whoops. She used the wrong shortcut there. That's an easy one to accidentally hit. Whoops. Uh. Uh.
Ah, oh, damn it. I accidentally did that one again. Cool. Okay, what was I trying to do there? Oh. No, 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 no. Ah, jeez. Gosh, I almost did it again. Those two shortcuts are so close together. I think I should change those. One of those should be changed. Getting close to being finished here with this phase. This phase of the artwork process. This is one of those phases of artwork process. You wish you had a script. It just did it all for you. It's just all rote stuff. Don't need shirt. Don't need sheath. Wait, he does need sheath. Doesn't need his hat though. Actually, sheath should be part of body. That gave Idle South, South 1, South 2. Good, he's got a sword on his back too. That'll be kind of cool to see him take his sword out.
And we're down to the last one. Yeah. Oh, this will be good. Everything all prepped and ready to go. Ready for pixel art time. Which I don't know if I'm going to have very much time for on the stream, but at least this will be all ready to go for later. Whenever that is. Oh, there's a whole second there where he's just laying down. I don't need that. All right, now we can go and convert all of, um, go back to the foreground, all this, instead of it being rock, it'll be Kel. Whoops. And now I can run it, and as long as it succeeds at actually running, then that'll mean that all the files can be loaded successfully. It's going to have to recompile the sprite sheet here. That's why it's taking a second. But as long as this runs, then all those files are loaded, and we're no longer using a, a black color to make the, this character look darker. There's no longer a scale being applied either. It's just pure pixel art. So the next thing will be go back and just... Okay, so I broke, I'm missing something. Kel idle south sheath. Oh, I think it's just idle south. Yeah, it's just idle south. Oh, was there another one missing too? Damn. Oh no, cool. Yeah, so he looks super weird and chunky and the pixels all look horrible, but at least now he is his own entity. He's got his own animation files. Really, the next thing to do is just to go and pixel him. I guess I'll, I could pixel like one frame. Actually, no, I'm freaking tired. I'm hungry. I gotta get some dinner. Yeah. But anyways, I'll finish this little boss fight, and then but that'll be it for today's stream. So I got everything prepped for his artwork files. Basically, next time I can come back and just, um, you know, focus on the pixel art part of it. That'll be fun. place you can get him cornered that you really got to work on. Oh, I had half a heart left. Oh, cool. Well, this is turning out to be a pretty interesting boss fight, and I really like how this feels. And it's super important to the plot of Songbringer for this fight to, in particular to happen. So, there you go. That's it for today's stream. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you learned something from watching this video, maybe, or something. I hope it's been a positive thing for you. And um, that's it. We'll see you all next time. Laters.